Hello, uh, in this video I want to show you point cloud types which are available in Rayfi Ronoi. And I will use a simple box. I know you are not going to fragment boxes all the time, but it's just easier to see how all these properties work. So first one is box type. So and uh, whenever you change this uh, point cloud types, you can see that this first uh, the second allowed change its properties. So the first one is box distribution and it's pretty straightforward and it has this width, length and height properties so if you will go to sub object mode and point cloud click on point cloud you can see it's gizmo and change its properties here and of course you can scale it manually and rotate so let's click fragment and uh, let's change num points. As you can see while I am dragging the spinner it doesn't update anything and update it only when I release. If I want to see updates interactive I can click to this check button so now it will update it interactively. And uh, the last uh, property here is center bias and uh, whenever I, I will increase it you can see it start gathering all the points to center of this uh, box gizmo so I can drag it up to 100 and now I have more tiny fragments at the center And let's say you changed your gizmo and now you want to reset it. You can do this by right clicking to this box uh, check button here and click here reset gizmo. So now it turned back to its original uh, size. Okay, uh, next uh, point cloud type is cylinder. And it's also has this num points amount, this radius, and height. Uh, let's rotate it 90 degrees like this. Okay, now we can decrease radius, increase height. Now let's increase num points, and again we can increase center bias to gather them closer to its center so in some cases you may need such point cloud distribution uh, the third one is spherical again it's pretty straightforward just new points just one property it's radius and again center bias which gathers all the points closer to the center Okay, so uh, let's move on. As the fourth point cloud distribution type is radial, and it creates radial point cloud. As you can see, uh, there are more properties. First one is radius. Again, pretty straightforward. Uh, second one is divergence. So as you can see, it start spread all these points in all uh, directions. So if you want to have some divergence, but keep all the planes, all the uh, points to one plane, you can check on this restrict to plane checkbox. So now they are all restricted to plane, but you still have some divergence. Uh, next group of properties is rings, amount of rings. So I can increase the amount of rings here. And the next one is focus. What it does, it uh, shifts all the these rings in uh, one direction, which is defined by strength. See, so if I will increase strength, as you can see right now, since my focus is zero, which means center and strength is 72 
more rings started to move close to the center. So if I will set it to zero, they will be distributed over, uh, uniformly. And let's increase strength to let's say 60. But now let's increase focus as well. And as you can see now it starts shifting uh, closer to its outer edges. So using strength you can define how much you want to shift them and using focus you, you can define where exactly you want to shift them closer to the center or closer to the let's say uh, middle of the radial uh, radius or more to the edges and also there is a random which, a random property which simply shifts all the rings randomly the next group is count of race, race count. So again, you can increase it to get more race. And random a spinner which moves them randomly. And twist which twists all the uh, rings relative to each other. <coughs> 